Super Bowl 55 is in the books, and the purpose of this video is to share with you the kicking and punting performances from last night. So for the next couple minutes, we'll go through the report card and then each individual, and then we'll have some highlights. So let's start with the report card. How did everybody do? We've got field goal, punt, and kickoff. And field goal and kickoff on both squads were above an A grade. But punting was not up to the NFL level of performance. But that doesn't mean that these guys aren't good. It just means that, hey, this thing, this game is really a game of inches. So let's start with field goal. Harrison Butker, I believed, won the golden boot last night. And here's why. He had 1.9 degrees of precision. And the way that precision on the simple kicking app is calculated is taking two lines. The first line measures from the spot of the ball to the center of the goalposts. And the second line is where the ball crosses the goalposts. That creates precision. And 1.9 degrees is about the size of your computer monitor or that you're watching the, this YouTube on. That's insanely close. Harrison Bucker had an incredible night. He drew first blood. And let's take a look at this 49-yard kick that he had. What makes this kick so incredible is this was the first blood of the game. These are the first points scored in Super Bowl 55, and Harrison Bucker put it right down the pro post. As you see, it just crossed that left of the center, which was really an excellent kick. Putting points on the board is tough anytime, and being able to do it like he did in this very smooth fashion was an excellent snap, excellent hold, and an excellent kick. I really enjoyed seeing Harrison Bucker set the tone from a field goal perspective. Bucker's second attempt was a 34-yarder from the left hash, and he's as smooth as butter. That's all you can say about this kick. It was really nice operation again excellent hold by tommy townsend who's a rookie and james winchester who's the snapper like i said smooth as butter let's watch this one more time as you see harrison who's really a pros pro takes his spot knows where he wants to hit the ball has complete trust in everything that he does because he works so hard all right, let's see Harrison Bucker's 52-yarder that came from the right hash. Going into the game, he was about 30% less accurate from the right hash as he was from the left. So seeing this kick and having that prior knowledge really made me feel like this helped Harrison take another step in his career. Hitting a 52-yard field goal from the right hash while your team is down is huge. Because you missed this kick, really the game is probably over, but Harrison knocked it right down again, right down the pro post once more. Harrison Bucker, a 52-yarder from the right hash, splitting one degree of precision left of center. So the reason why I give Harrison Bucker an A-plus is because he was so precise. He scored all the points for the Kansas City Chiefs. He showed up to play. And having that part of the game, despite the offense sputtering, was still really important. And I think overall for Harrison's career, this will be a huge step as he becomes the elite kicker in the NFL. So Ryan Suckup, he had an excellent night making four PATs, but here's his lone field goal that counted. This is a 52-yarder, again, from the left hash. And what I loved about this kick was he didn't overpower it. He didn't have to because he's a veteran, and veterans know to swing within themselves. So as a kicker, what I learned from this is understand where to aim the ball. And as we look at the slow-mo, you can see that he missed this ball just inside the left upright, but that probably means that he was aiming somewhere right of center, knowing that he's a little bit deeper than his normal range, and he was from the left hash. So Ryan Suckup, who had an incredible season, as you kind of see his stats here on the screen, had an incredible season, only missed three field goals all year. And he wasn't on this squad a year ago. And to be able to come off the street, to come in and play as well as he did all season long is a testament to what kind of pro Ryan Suckup is. I'm a huge fan, and this was a really excellent, outstanding performance by Ryan Suckup, kicker for the Tampa Bay Bucks. A+. Plus. Okay, kickoffs were also really incredible because Harrison Bucker hit a 4.51 second hang time kickoff to the one-yard line. Look, the industry 
considers an elite kickoff like 4.3. That's an incredible kick. This 4.51 is like the same hang time as the average NFL punter. And so to be able to do that from a kickoff is, I mean, I'm kind of dumbfounded a morning after the game as I react to this. That's insane. So excellent kickoff for Harrison Bucker. He did awesome. He did exactly what his special teams coach asked him to do, which was trying to pin Tampa inside their own 25. He didn't quite get to that goal by three quarters of a yard, but nevertheless, a A plus performance by Harrison Bucker on kickoff as you see the stats what i'm most impressed with is that hang time number that average over 4.3 seconds of hang is what is considered elite and one of those kickoffs was a 451 that takes an incredible amount of skill and since he's so powerful and has the ability to create those angles that means the trajectory of the ball is able to fly high without going too far going into the end zone a plus night for kickoff for harrison bucker and on the Tampa side, they had one kickoff that was returned for about 41 yards. That was a 3.91 second hang time kick that was returned. Look, outside of that, they dominated. In fact, without that punt, you know their average starting position for Patrick Mahomes and the fiery hot offense of the Kansas City Chiefs would have been well inside the 25. But because of that one outlying kickoff that was returned, they were just outside the 26-yard line. I'll give an A for that just because they had one kickoff return. Excellent night for Bradley Pinion. I'll give you an A for kickoffs. Now we're on punt, and we saw the punting that was below the NFL standard of performance, and that is not because these guys did not have the ability. Tommy Townsend is one of the best in the NFL, and this was his rookie season. So I see this being a first-time performance for both punters, and it does not reflect their true ability. But what we'll see here first with Tommy is Tommy got unlucky having that holding penalty for that first punt that – was nullified it was a 56 yard punt over 4.5 seconds to hang and then he has to go and hit another ball and that ball goes off the side of his foot this is an important part of Tommy's career because with any punter or kicker who has a bad kick the ability to learn how to shed that will be something that he can take with him for the rest of his career remember he's a rookie bad kicks bad punts and golfers know bad putts happen all the time. It's how you respond to them. So I think Tommy's going to have a very long career. And I think the stats that you see here in his first Super Bowl do not reflect the true talent that he has. It was one of those nights and something that he'll learn a whole bunch from. So the grade's not nearly as important, but since it did happen, I did want to put a grade that Tommy did not play to the level that he expects. And that's why you see the grade that you see here. And I can't wait for his next Super Bowl because he'll more than likely be the most improved punter on the field. Here's Bradley Pinion's numbers. Bradley did not punt the ball particularly well with distance and hang time. At a current showcase or college recruiting camp, his numbers would not be high whatsoever. But he did have a ball that was down inside the 10-yard line. And I think that's important to note because you take small wins wherever you can get them and a Ball inside the 10 is quite a big win. Again, putting Patrick Mahomes like he's already done on kickoff inside the, his own territory by doing it once out of four times, that was impressive. Look, the other three punts, they are what they are. He didn't hit the ball well, but as you look at the stats, overall, he didn't hurt his team, but he also didn't really flip the field. But luckily, this was not a detriment to the Tampa Bay Bucks team. They got out with the W. And again, Bradley did not perform the way that we all know that he can. You know, Going into the, this game, he really pinned a bunch of balls inside the 20. In fact, it was 27 with only two touchbacks. So that short game distance control that he has for punting is really outstanding. So this game was his first Super Bowl as well. Happy he got the win. Great for him and his uh, long snapper. Mr. Zach Triner, but we'll look forward to him having a better Super Bowl the next time he has it. Maybe that's when Tom Brady will be going for his eighth ring. In conclusion, so. kicking at this Super Bowl was outstanding and punting was below standard. So I am really excited to 
share with you guys that the Simple Kicking app was extremely easy to chart all these kicks. What would have been a six-hour project using pen and paper, dialing into the computer, making graphics, etc., only took me about an hour. And having all of these kicks from this game, as well as every single kick and punt from the NFL this season, is really interesting to develop insights. Additionally, there's been insights that have been developed for high school kickers and college kickers. Most notably for high school kickers, what I have found after tracking all about 20,000 kicks from just under 1,000 kickers is that most high school kickers practice from the middle of the field. When in the Super Bowl last night, we saw all the kicks except for the PATs from the hashes. Additionally, from the NFL season, you learn so much about how to set expectations if you're a youth punter or a youth kicker, the guy that's in high school wanting to play in college. The expectations that are generally put on guys, especially at college camps and showcases, are not the same results that NFL players hold themselves to. As you can see from the Super Bowl, it was not these big, massive punts that are over five seconds of hang time didn't happen. And these are the best guys to play the game on the planet. So again, this is James. This is Simple Kicking. And we use the, I use the Simple Kicking app to chart these kicks and punts all over the NFL season throughout the 18-week regular season and throughout the playoffs. It was a lot of fun. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the Simple Kicking app on the App Store. Again, that's Simple Kicking. It's a punting and kicking tracking app so that you can improve your game by following your stats and identifying tendencies along the way. Check out the Simple Kicking app. Also, check out the Simple Kicking podcast. The Special Teams Lounge has been packed with stories and wisdom and gold for us kicking nerds. Most notably, Thomas Morstead, punter for the New Orleans Saints, Jack Fox, rookie punter and NFL Pro Bowler for the Detroit Lions, and his teammate, Matt Prater, all joined this this season and it was a lot of fun so if you haven't already check out the special teams lounge here on youtube spotify apple podcasts or wherever you enjoy listening to podcasts i really appreciate all your support this season and take a look as simple kicking develops in the next couple of months we have some exciting new products that we're currently designing and the app is continually improving so feel free to reach out anytime and if you haven't already please press subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can stay in the loop with Simple Kicking, the Simple Kicking app, and the pro posts. Again, I'm James from Simple Kicking. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Welcome to Simple Kicking with your host, James Harrison.